Hello and welcome to part two of my 3.0 avatar tutorial series. If you haven't watched part one already, go ahead and do that. I'll link it uh, up there in the corner. So you'll have your model all set up for this part. And in this one, we'll be covering how to add facial expressions on your model. Now, thankfully, they made this a little bit easier than it used to be, but uh, there's still some hoops we gotta jump through, so let's get into it. The first thing I usually do is find the facial expressions uh, animation controller that comes with your VRChat SDK. And that should be called Hands Layer. Now there's a few ways you can find this. You can either go into your project folder or your project and find VRC SDK folder. Go to examples three, animation, controllers, and it should be the third one. VRC avatar version three, Hands Layer controller. Or another way, you can just uh, type the name in the search bar, hands, layer. Now I can type hands, layer. And there we go, it should be the first one. Now we need to duplicate it with control D. Move the copy over to your avatar folder. And there it is. Now we can rename this to I usually name it FX or expressions, whatever. Another thing I usually do is make another folder and call this animations, just to keep it a little bit, a uh, little bit more organized. I'll drop the FX controller in the animation folder. Now I already have some animations made, but I will show you how to make some because this is the part where we need to jump through those hoops I was talking about. So now we need to duplicate our model because you should never, ever, 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 ever animate on the model you're going to upload. So click on your model over here on the left in the hierarchy and press Control D again to duplicate it. It should say the name of your model and one. Then we can hide the first one. So click on that. And over here in the inspector, click on the little check mark next to the name and boom, it's gone. And we're just left with the duplicate. Now we are gonna need to make another animation controller. So in your animation folder, just right click, create, animation controller. We'll name that something like test, whatever you want. Now click on your model, the duplicate again, and drag and drop the test animation controller on the right in the animator controller. Boom, there you go. Now we need to make the actual animation. So right click, create, animation. I'm just going to call this happy. It's going to be a happy face. And now we're going to double click the test controller. Or you can just uh, go to animator up here. And we are going to drag and drop our happy animation or the animation you just made into the animator. Like so. And then we can go back to scene again. And now we can start to actually animate. Click on your duplicate, the model. Go to your animation tab. If you don't have an animation tab, you can find it under window, animation, animation. Now this is where things get a little weird. We are going to click on preview to see how our model looks. Don't worry about this. This is completely normal. Now, I spend at least a day figuring out how to do this properly. 
with the 3.0 avatars. And the way I figured it out was to add all your blend shapes into the animation, but only use the ones that you uh, need for your expressions. So to do that, we are gonna add property, go down to body. All right, future aggro here. Um, this is the part of the video where I originally made a mistake. Instead of adding in all the blend shapes, don't add in the ones that have the letters VRC in them. Those are only for your lip sync, and if you add those into your expressions, it will break your lip sync. So just add in the ones that correspond to your facial expressions. All right, back to the video. Skinned mesh render. And we're gonna pick all of these blend shapes. So click on the first one, scroll down and find the last blend shape. Shift and click to select them all. Right click and add properties. And there you go. Now your facial expressions only need to be a single frame long. Now behind me you'll see the rest or the second pair of keyframes. What we can do is click on the topmost one to select them all and we can hit delete. And now we can go back to our first set of keyframes. And using these values, the zeros, we can actually make the expressions. Now for the happy face, I'm gonna use blink happy. Now 100 is usually the max where the blend shape should go. You can go further, you can go 200, but as you can see, that will just look weird. So I'm just gonna go 100 on that one. We're gonna do a nice big toothy grin. So I'm gonna find one that's called Wah for me. You can use anything. Just play around with these. Turn it down to zero if you're not happy with it. But for this, I like a value of around 70. And there we go. We already have a nice, nice big toothy grin. Now leave everything else as zero. If we don't add all the blend shapes that we uh, don't need and leave them at zero, what will happen is all the expressions will get stuck and they'll just overlap with each other and you'll be horribly disfigured forever. We don't want that. So add all your blend shapes, but only use the ones that you actually need and leave everything else at zero. Now we can just click on the topmost keyframe and hit Control C to copy move ahead one single frame we can just type in one over here and there you go and then we're just gonna hit Control v sorry Control v to paste and there we go our animation is a single layer long that's what you want we are done with the happy face we can move back to our project folder and there's our animation. Now I'm going to show you how to do the same thing with, let's say, let's make a sad face. I'm just going to delete this, make a new animation. We'll call this sad, sad. And we're going to drop this animation into the test controller again. So double click on test, click on happy and delete that and drag and drop your sad animation over there. Go back to scene, animation, preview, and we're gonna do the sad animation. So again, just hit add property, body, skinned mesh render, 
select all your blend shapes. Your blend shape should all, always be called blend shape and then a name. You don't have to worry about the rest of these. Just blend shapes. Right click, add properties, and there you go. Delete the last pair of keyframes. And then we're going to do a sad face. Let's see, what are we going to use for that? We are going to use Hachu eyes. Let's make it 100. We're going to use sadness. There we go. Turn the eyebrows a little bit. And I guess I'm going to use the little uwu face. Well, that's not an uwu face. I don't know what that's called. Let's just turn that to 100. That is already a nice sad face. I think I have a tear blend shape in here. There you go, tears. Put that to 100. And there we go. There's our sad face. I can leave everything else at zero. Click on the topmost keyframe. Control C to copy. Move ahead one keyframe and paste. Boom, we're done. That's how you should set up all your expressions. And now to actually assign them to the avatar. For now, we're done with our duplicate model. So we can hide her. Clicking on the little check mark in the inspector. And we're going to unhide our original one. And there we go. Now we're going to use the FX animation controller that we copied in the beginning. So double click on that one. And what you'll see is you'll have two spots for your left hand and your right hand. So technically you could have a different set of animations on each hand. Personally, I only use the left hand to trigger my emotes and I'll use my uh, right hand to just, you know, point and move around. Now you can't add any actual transform animations. What that means is you can't change the actual hand gestures, only blend shapes that move your face. For different hand gestures, we're going to use a different uh, animation controller, maybe in a later video. <clears throat> For this one, we're just going to focus on the expressions. Now, these are your hand gestures. They're already named correctly, or all, all the uh, <clears throat> uh, transitions are all set up from idle to uh, from any state to idle and the hand gestures. Now, what we, oh, I almost forgot. We need to make a animation for the idle pose as well. And what that is, is basically just a animation where everything is set to zero. And I'm just gonna show you that real quick. Again, unhide our duplicate, make a new animation. I'm just gonna call it idle. Put that in the test. There we go. Animation. Preview at property body skin mesh. All the blend shapes. Add properties. Delete that. And you don't need to change everything. Anything. Just leave everything at zero. Copy and paste, and you're done. <clears throat> Now back to our assigning the animations part. In the effects layer, I'm going to use the left hand. So what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, replace the animations inside the hand gestures. Starting off with the idle one, click on the little box and over here on the right, you'll see motion. And there's an animation called proxy hands idle assigned to it. Now for this one, we're just gonna <clears throat> replace it with the idle animation that we just made. So 
in your animation folder, click on the idle animation and drag and drop it into the motion slot. And there you go. We're just going to do the same with the hand gestures. Usually what I do is have my happy face uh, assigned to my open hand one so I can like wave and smile at the same time. Drag the happy one and put it into the motion slot. For point, I'll put in sad. For rock and roll, I'll put in my lewd face. For handgun, let's put in mad or angry face. And thumbs up is going to be a yandere face. And that should pretty much be it. Um, all the settings on the transitions should be quite right. You can make sure that if you click on the transition, which is the line connecting the two boxes, uh, that the condition is set to just the left equals and a number. The number corresponds to whatever the hand gesture is. But if you copy the hand slayer controller earlier, then they should all be set up correctly. Just replace the animations in the motion uh, slot. You can rename these if you want. I'll just leave them as they are. And now then, we are going to go back to scene. Click on our model. And in your VRC avatar descriptor, you're going to scroll all the way down to playable layers. It should probably be off for you uh, by default, but just click on customize and everything should appear. Now for the expressions controller, the FX, we're going to assign it to our FX slot here. So just click on default and on transform and drag and drop our controller right there. And that's pretty much all you need for expressions. Now you can upload your model and see that everything works. We're going to go do that right now. All right, here we are in VR chat and uh, to test them out in desktop, you just hit shift and the function keys to test your expressions that you made. Everything seems to be working fine and they are not overlapping with each other. And that's pretty much how you do it. In the next part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to assign some emotes and other animations that you can toggle with your radial menu inside VR chat. I hope that helped. I will see you in the next one. Bye.